it's drama time. No, we know. Oh, yes. So the story goes that uh, a gentleman by the name of Brainfart contacts Mr. Dapperton, showing him the logs of a disturbingly young woman named Assassinatrix. And if five years ago you'd have asked me if I will ever have an intelligent conversation surrounding people with these names, I definitely wouldn't see myself doing it. Yet here I am. Um, and in those logs, uh, apparently a YouTuber by the name of Nightmare Fuel, literally Skullfuck47 from my analogies, if you know what I mean, long time fans know, uh, also known as Reese. Uh, was uh, being um, extremely friendly to the young lady. Disturbingly friendly, some would say. And Mr. Dapperton uh, makes a video about it. And then uh, Atheism is Unstoppable, also known as Devon, I will dox you Tracy. I'm not saying you dox him this time. Calm your nigger tits, Devon. Chill. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Um... He pointed out that uh, DMs can be faked. And it's very easy to say and make a conversation between people. Uh, the problem is that Reese already admitted that the DMs are true. And that uh, Assassinatrix herself can, be, uh, can come forward uh, to use an OBS. Or anything that's required in order to prove the validity of the logs. Uh, but I also made a video about it, and I decided to take it down at uh, Mr. Dapperton's request, uh, because he was getting doxxed, number one. And the second thing, uh, because uh, my conscience also dictated that uh, since we can't be absolutely 100% sure, might as well, you know, take down the video, because, uh, yeah, it does affect the reputation of people. Um, <clears throat> but now, despite the fact that Mr. Dapperton doesn't want me to re-upload the video, or doesn't want me to make this video, I will still do it. Uh, because uh, it's very interesting uh, how this doxing came to be, how it stopped all of a sudden. And um, the crickets coming from the social justice community, who are uh, very strong advocates... Uh, again, for the rights of people not to be doxxed. Um, and I don't see them in an uproar. I mean, maybe I should get Sargon to dox Mr. Depperton, huh? W would that get them involved, you think? But anyway, um, let's talk about it. So, uh, first of all, uh, the DMs, if they're real or not. Obviously, there's also th there was always the chance that they might be fake, uh, but given Assassinatrix's desire to show that uh, she's not uh, lying about it and willing to do anything that's required in order to prove the validity, given the fact that uh, Skullfuck47, uh, also known as Nightmare Fuel, is uh, um, a small YouTuber, and I don't see why slandering him would benefit anyone. I mean, if you want to hurt a small YouTuber, all you have to do is not talk about it. That's it. That's Don't share his videos, just pretend he doesn't exist. Uh, and you can keep this bombshell for when he gets bigger. Um, also, uh, the way the logs are written, um, and the number of logs uh, also shows uh, quite dedication for someone trying such a fabrication. I mean, they probably hire two virgin guys, which are furries, and they're experienced at cyber sex in order to uh, roleplay the... Uh, because uh, otherwise, I, I really don't understand, like, who would have s this much time and dedication, plus uh, artistic creativity, like, uh, th there was definitely a Shakespeare involved into just projecting a discussion, a conversation between Assassinatrix and uh, Nightmare Fuel, uh, that went on and on and on, and uh, both the characters had different personalities, like you can definitely see something that's, uh, in my opinion, uh, a little bit uh, overboard, if you want to do a slander. I mean, this was definitely done by a pro if it was uh, conceived. But anyway, this video is not about this, right? Uh, I really don't care. I'm not the YouTube police, right? If you committed a crime, or you know that someone committed a crime, go to the authorities. It's, it's, it's not my place to discuss these things. And um, This is the conclusion that I came to, which is also why I took down the video. Um, it's also not illegal. I mean, it's illegal to bugger little girls, but to flirt on them online, you know, I, I find it despicable. I wouldn't do it. I think it's bleh. But if you have nothing better to do, I guess... Uh... 
Anyway, uh, the thing is that uh, once uh, Mr. Dapperton uploaded the videos, uh, the doxings started to happen. Um, so let's look at some of them. Uh, they tried to uh, dox his entire family. Uh, I don't know if they got to their second of kin, uh, but they were quite thorough. So uh, let's see what's happening here. Uh, we have this uh, gentleman by the name of Reese saying delete those videos and apologize to Reese. I know you are, your name is out there, but your address isn't. Take the videos down and apologize to Reese. So uh, I, I assume this guy is not an English speaker, uh, neither American. And then again, you, you can be an American and not understand grammar and say you are. Uh, <clears throat> and Mr. Dapperton says release the, uh, the, uh, the docs because it makes you look bad. Take them down now and I'm putting the docs in the great hall of Discord. And I guess uh, this is uh, Vadim's cat, which uh, is... Uh, huh? Not cool, bro. Not cool. And then it's like some uh, insults. Um, and uh, Mr. Dapperton says, I know you're, uh, I know you're Reese. You're Reese in disguise. But it turns out that he isn't. And he shows the evidence, which is 100% legit. He is saying that if I was Reese, they would all have followed back. And he shows that these people including creationist cat and cyclops they're not following him so we know for sure he is not reese this is conclusive evidence that he's totally not reese i mean this, this evidence convinced me I, i've watched it and i'm like okay no you're right you're absolutely right there's no way you can be reese if those people don't follow you back like if reese would start an account right now okay if you start an egg account or anything like that these people will automatically follow him it's just they know especially this jew david bishop he the Jew always follows. Like, the Jew knows. The Jews are aware of your presence, Riz. They will definitely follow you. Um, so, uh, this is Riz. Uh, the damage may be done, but I think it's best to take that shit down. So, even Riz agrees um, that um, he, uh, he isn't the one doxing, right? So, he shows uh, a conversation between Riz and this gentleman. But then the moment Reese tells this guy to take it down, he takes it down. Like, this is the thing that I'm uh, interested in, right? So, he ducks, uh, he ducks Mr. Dapperton, and then he ducks his family members. Uh, and then when Reese tells him, by the way, take it down, take it down, <clears throat> he takes it down. But it's interesting because at first, Reese says that he has no control over this situation. Do you see the drama? The, are you feeling the drama? Are you feeling the tension yet? Is this not some heavy shit? Because I think it's some heavy shit. So, look at this. I'm not doing anything to you. I'm not doxing you. And I don't see how that solves anything. Let me talk to him. I think you should come up with a better solution than that. I doubt the doxer will find that acceptable. Don't you want them to stop? People online are crazy. They may still, if you still try to spread that message or go after uh, other people. I don't want any of that. So, uh, basically, Reese is like the godfather here. Yeah. Uh, it would be a shame if your place of business comes under uh, any sort of damages. If a fire were to happen, I wouldn't be responsible. But, uh, you know, pay your protection money and uh, none of this uh, is going to, to pass. I mean, the, the businesses that I protect don't catch fire. Just uh, by a weird coincidence that the ones I choose not to protect suddenly have difficulties uh, maintaining their operations uh, because they, they spontaneously combust. It's like, I'm, I'm not going to dox you, but I can't help it if other people will, you know? Uh, I, I can't control other people. People online be crazy, dude. Is this like, uh, I, I, I'm starting to wonder, like, which one of them is the 15-year-old girl in, in this exchange? Like, don't get me wrong. I, I can understand why Reese wouldn't want certain videos um, appearing on the internet. Right, um, especially a video that alleges you have uh, uh, flirted with a young lass. But the thing is, um, I'm not sure this is the correct way of handling the situation. I mean, the way I would do it is you would either go to the authorities and say that you've been slandered, uh, or just make a video and point out that the logs are fake. And that's it. 
problem solved. But going out of your way, doxing this person or sending your minions to dox the person, because clearly you do have control over your minions the moment like you, you tell them to stop and they stop. Uh, and they're doxing because uh, of your reputation, I guess, which is in danger. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's not really cool, bro. And, uh, by the way, Spino, this is how you dox someone. Do you see this shit? Like, you can actually contact the person, like you have a phone number and a location. Do you understand how you dox someone, you twat? Now, and you also know it's Mr. Dapperton. It's not like some rant. It's not like Mr. Dapperton's girlfriend and you're like country. Twat. Why aren't you talking about this, Spino? I thought you were against doxing, huh? You're busy rebranding your channel, is that it? Is this what you're doing? Where the fuck is Christy Winters, huh? Why, why aren't you talking about this shit, Christy? You busy doxing Bering again, huh? You found out he moved house. He's probably in vacation and you're trying to dox him. This is what Christy is doing. This is why she isn't outspoken about this shit. What about you, Kevin? Huh? Potato head. Why aren't you talking about this dox? You're probably busy bothering skeptics and asking them why aren't they joking about the Manchester tragedy. Huh? You're, you're reading the newspapers, finding out some tragedies, and like, why aren't they joking about this, you guys? Please joke about it. I want to be offended. Why is no one outraged over this shit? They dox this family. Hmm? No one. Not, not a single person. Not, not a single one. One SJW. One. At least one. Come on. I'm on SJW and I am upset. I, I, I want to see that. What a sick give, give me one one of you guys. I'm a social justice warrior on YouTube, and I am offended about this thing That's what I want to hear Crickets again. Maybe I should ask Sargon. Huh? If Sargon ducks is Dapperton, would you do it? Would you would you be outraged? They will probably all be outraged then Th then it will be the difficulty in finding that social justice warrior who's not against it By the way, this is also the same for the anti anti SJWs or however the fuck you like to call you know what I'm talking about right? The, the moral faggots of the internet. The ones that are like, oh my god, he made a joke. Ooh. Oh my god, he doxed someone. Where, where are they? Where are they now? Why, why isn't your moral faggotry the same across the board? Why, why, why are you choosing over which things to get upset? Because hmm? if you're against doxing, like, this should piss you off a little bit. Not a lot, I'm saying. Just a little. Um... I'm waiting for my next drama video. I, I know this this might not be that interesting. It's just a, a thing for me, I guess, because uh, I understand that they're really against doxers. So uh, I suppose the army is on the march now. They, they're going to be so outraged. They're already... <laughs> um, I heard some interesting stories about Bumblebee, uh, which is uh, another anti-anti... This is how they call them. Um... She started a charity for uh, for a men's shelter. And then again, crickets. And um, after that, they it happens that she got a brand new car. Karen Strawn knows a little bit about this. I should contact her and ask her a few questions. Uh, also, um, this time I'm, I'm actually going to hire the investigator before. Because last time uh, he was pretty useful in uncovering that shit. So... Uh, Gonna gonna check all my facts before I blow the gun, but uh, just uh, interesting fact. I mean, why, why can't these people keep themselves away from crime? Why, why, why do they always, you know, have to... Hmm? Just, just curious like that. It, 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 doesn't it seem weird? Like the entire SJW community on YouTube at one point did something. Either they dox someone, either they, uh, they, they blackmail someone, or they slander, or they... Um, uh, they do charities and the money just poofs. Just poofs. And by the way, I, I heard the accusations that... Uh, v, but uh, w w in the case of Spino, in the case of Spino, you, you understand that uh, the charity was legit. Yeah, but the money still poofed. It was a human error. Like, I wasn't just being retarded. And if Spino had explained to me that there was a human error in a DM, instead of accusing me that I'm doxing his woman, then maybe none of this would have happened. Like, all he had to do is to point me to Jen. This is the woman that ran the charity. She's the one that did the human error. This is what happened. And then I'll be like, yeah, okay, fine. But uh, no. So I have to do the investigation and find out the, the truth for myself. Uh, which is what I'm going to do to you, Bumblebee. I'm going to find out where that money went. 